Okay, so today we have a 2012 uh, Ford F-150. It's got the EcoBoost 3.5 in it. Uh, it is a King Ranch version. So we're just going to go through and see what the Autel D8 has to offer as far as special functions, uh, active test, and uh, anything else. So I've got the vehicle on. I've got the D8 plugged in. It's Ford USA. And there's the information. It does have the navigation system. And we'll go ahead and do an automatic scan just to show you how fast this scan tool is, uh, at least on a Ford. Now remember, this scan tool does plug in, and it's not wireless, so that is one reason why it's faster uh, than a Bluetooth version. Uh, Bluetooth, anything wireless is going to be slightly slower. Uh, you know, because this is a direct link straight to the uh, vehicle. And there you have it. Um, you know, it's showing a couple codes. If you want to see the codes real quick, you hit the D, uh, DTC report. And it's got a very nice layout of the codes, the module, uh, the definition of the codes. So we'll go back. We're going to go ahead and get into... Uh, you know what, before we actually go into the uh, system selection selection we're going to go into service service has got your main body module or your main uh, computers we're going to go to uh, powertrain control module and I'm just going to show you the options that it's got right here now I'll go ahead and click on a couple of these because we got to get a little deeper into it to see what uh, some of these do so we're going to click transmission and that's what you got under the transmission of the powertrain control module Uh, service function and I'm just going to quickly go through these that way this video doesn't uh, get too long fuel power balance is just going to be a, a, a power balance uh, the EVAT is what's under fuel okay we're going to go chassis uh, braking yeah service of the any ABS And the power steering right there. We're going to go to the body. Okay. Electrical. And you got an audio. So let's go ahead and back out of this. We're going to go into system selection now. We'll go to powertrain control module. All we're going to focus on is actuation test and special functions. So let me, first let's do actuation test. And I'm just going to scroll through these so you can read what's available on this scan tool and so far with this scan tool everything that I've had to actuate has worked they are continuously updating this tool uh, okay so that here's the special functions now there's a few modules on this one so I'm going to try to get through this as, as quick as possible this is ABS special functions okay under restraint the, the only thing you got you got live data and codes and the, the other thing you need to realize is this this scan tool will tell you uh, part numbers for the modules so you don't have to dig the module out and get a part number off of it it'll tell you what the part number is which is nice a lot of scan tools won't do that you got to get up into the higher end scan tools that's able to read uh, you know the module part numbers and stuff and a lot a lot of modules it'll have the software part numbers also uh, we're in what, body control module this is actuation test Special functions. Instrument panel. Uh, 
This is the HVAC module actuation test. TPM, okay, live data. Uh, audio control module. Uh, accessory protocol interface mo module. DCSM driver front seat module audio just live data on that one. Uh, Fickham. Actually, this isn't the Fickham. This is the FCIM. Look similar to Fickham. Okay, now it must not have uh, this module. The interface module, uh, front display. Usually, if you get a uh, do not uh, that it can't communicate, generally means as long as you don't have any other problems that the, the ECU is just not there. It's not installed. It doesn't have that option. Same with that one. And that one. Okay, now this is the occupant classification module special functions you can reset the the weight for the passenger seat uh, what was this parking aid okay the module action test is unsupported now it should still have live data so you're going to have all your live data for the parking sensors they're just that there, there's not any actuation test really that button should be gone since there's nothing there uh, power running boards I don't think this has power running boards power steering control module okay this was steering control module Trailer brake. No special functions or active test. Of course, it's got live data and everything. Uh, there's the module again. I was just wanted to see if it, this module was would show part numbers. We'll go back to the powertrain com control module and we'll see what part numbers it all sh shows. And this is the transfer case. The, this is a four-wheel drive, so it should have options here. So if you're having four-wheel drive issues you've got some actuations that you can do here to help you troubleshoot it um, in fact yeah let's go back to the powertrain control module and I'm just going to hit read ECU information okay there's software there's hardware so you can see the the software that's uh, built into it so that's just a real quick walkthrough of this particular uh, menu uh, now let's go ahead and go back and okay so we're going to go here into special functions and I'm just going to click key programming and we're going to see what kind of options we have for key programming because this scan tool is a very amazing key programmer okay there's Ford North American Ford immobilizer smart key system and here's all the options that you have for that we'll go ahead and click into um, F-150 and as you can see it goes all the way up to 2020 and past this is got the latest software 27.28 for Ford 
Um, this is a 2012, so we'll click that. Okay, this must not be a smart key system. Uh, in fact, it's not a smart key system. I just realized that. So we're going to go into Immobilizer. We're going to go F-150. Uh, this is a 2012, so we're going to click that one. And here you go. You got your number of keys. Uh, that'll tell you how many keys. There's three keys programmed to this vehicle. You can do an all keys lost program, or you can add a key. And I've had very good success using this uh, pro this scan tool programming keys. I've done Nissan keys, Chrysler keys, Jeep, uh, and I think a couple others. Anyway, uh, that's about... These are just quick to access items that if you needed, if you took to a car that you needed to reset the battery, uh, you just go right here and you click it and you get to it quick. You don't have to go into the actual specific uh, year making model and then the module and then find the battery program. Same with any of these. This is just a quick menu to get to where you want to go. There's the power balance, which we saw actually in the, the Ford uh, menu there. There was, I don't know if you saw that, uh, gear learning, tooth learn, you know, that's for, for uh, your speedo, ABS bleed. Anyway, quick uh, review of the X-Tool D8 on a 2012 Ford F-150. Uh, I've been very happy with this scanner. It's hard to beat for the money. Very good support. Like I say, they, they come out with updates all the time. In fact, I bet there's... Yeah, there's updates right now. It's probably been about four days since I updated it, and there's the updates. Adding new cars, new functions. So they're pretty good about, about keeping it updated. Anyway, I'm out. You guys take care. x D8 on a F-150 2012 model, EcoBoost. Till the next time, you guys take care.